Well, let's generate some pictures of resonance in an undamped harmonic oscillator. So first let's start with a mass of 2 and a spring stiffness k of 0.5. That's k over m is a quarter, and square root of k over m, the natural frequency, is 1 half. So we can monitor what happens if we set the natural frequency to 1 half. First let's let the natural frequency be 2, just in this example of what happens with this driving. So we release the experiment here. Actually get a periodic oscillation, kind of a beautiful trace across the phase plane here. We could sit and watch this for quite a long time. Let's stop it and let's go to disaster bill. Now resonant frequency or the driving frequency is one half and the natural frequency is one half. So we're going to have a disaster here. Let's start this with a very small position difference. In fact, why don't we just start it at the origin and let this drive the system. I mean, quickly the oscillations get out of control. In fact, the system is now broken, but it's fun to let the computer think it's still working anyway. What happens if we move the mass to the other end of the scale, stiffness to the other end of the spring scale? Now k over m is 4. m is half. k is 2. k over m is 4. Square root of k over m is 2. So if we drive this with a frequency of 2, we're going to see resonance. Let's drive it with a frequency of 1 half just to see what happens first. And you get this beautiful pattern of synchronization between the driving frequency and the frequency of oscillation. But if we stop this and go for broke, let's drive it the frequency of 2 to match the natural frequency. Even if we start this at the origin, it's going to get out of control. Take a little while to get going, but we're literally just pumping the system at exactly the right frequency. And now we're at resonance. Amplitude is growing without bound. In fact, the system is now broken. Essentially, this is similar to the principle used when you paddle a rubber ball with a wooden paddle on the end of a rubber band. It's not exactly a spring, but you're trying to keep that ball going by matching the frequency which you strike the ball with the return the frequency of the ball's motion on the end of that rubber band.